Right, um, so making a copy, making an image copy, um, as per the cautionary tale that I have just related to you, um, making a backup is not, uh, not necessarily good enough. For one thing, um, the backups don't, uh, you know, none of the backup software copies any of the Slack space, whether it is uh, physical or um, uh, logical. Um, is it, you know, it's, it's just, it's not uh, part of backups that people think of in, in terms of making a backup of your information. So, um, none of that is going to be dealt with by uh, commercial uh, backup software. It's just, you know, not, uh, not part of their remit. So, when we are making a, a forensics copy, uh, at the very least, we want the logical Slack space. We want all of the file bits and pieces um, that have been abandoned, uh, partially overwritten, whatever. Um, you know, that's uh, part of what we do. And another aspect of that is the um, information about when a file was accessed, um, uh, who accessed it, uh, that sort of thing. That's all a part of the the file system itself. And the file system, when, when you make a backup, uh, that information, that, that meta information about uh, file management um, is also not copied in commercial backup software. And, and so all of that information, which again has uh, importance, forensic importance for us in, uh, in dealing with, uh, in, in exploring the different areas, uh, you know, all of those uh, we need to uh, uh, get from proper bit image copying. So we need uh, the tools that are going to, to deal with that. Um, get us the, the logical slack space. But again, um, primarily these are going to uh, deal with the, uh, the logical slack space, uh, the logical file system information only. Um, the, you know, it, it is unlikely, as I say, that you're going to get people who are using the physical uh, slack space um, to hide what they're doing. Um, but it is possible, and uh, even the um, uh, forensics tools, commercial forensics tools, are not going to uh, copy that information or provide you with that information. So we need to make sure that we get uh, what is important to us, and we must uh, ensure that it is giving us the information that's going to be needed for the purposes of our investigation. Um, so we primarily will want a, a bit image copy. Um, and when we make that copy, um, we will, from that point on, lock down the original uh, disk drive system, whatever it is that, that we're dealing with. Um, we, any, any further work, any analysis is going to be done 
uh, not even on that copy, but we take that copy, we make another copy, which is our working copy, our sort of, you know, there's the first generation copy that we made directly from the original system. It's the second generation copy that we actually start to do analysis on. So that if we come to any kind of a problem, we don't have to go back to the original hardware, which is now part of, you know, chain of evidence, chain of custody. Um, we can go back to our first generation copy and make another copy of that and proceed with our analysis without having to interrupt the chain of custody for the original system. So, uh, again, that's, that's our analysis. Uh, that's what we do to protect our, our evidence so that we can present the original untouched in court.